Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins, and I want to show you how to create a database with a table um, in SQL Server Management Studio that I will use for my next video. So I have opened Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, and if I expand the database folder, which I have, I only have Northwind at the minute. So I'm going to right-click on that to create a new database, which I'm going to call Learners. In the field here at the top, that's where I type in Learners. Now, do not click the Add button. So the reason for that is it would add another database file. The default there are two. There's an MDF file which stores all the data that's in the database. And there's a log file which stores any changes that were made. So any inserts or deletes, it keeps track of what changes were made. So to click the OK button, not the Add button. Now, once that is created, you'll see it over on the left hand side. If you don't see that database, you can just do a right click on databases and refresh if you don't see it there. So on the learners database, now I'm going to right click and sorry, I'm going to expand it first. And on the tables, I'm going to right click and choose new table. Now there are four columns that I want to add in here an ID, which I'm going to have as an auto number, name, address, and age. So first column I want to call ID. The data type is going to be an int. So if you're impatient like me and won't search for it, just type in int. Now down the bottom here, you get the properties for that column. There's a property called identity specification. I'm just going to expand that. That basically it's, it's an automatic number. I want to turn that into an auto number. So is identity, change that to yes. Uh, the seed starts at one and it increments by one. So I do not insert into that column. I leave it blank and it will, the first learner will have an idea of one. The second learner will have an idea of two and so on. And what I also want to do here is right click and set the primary key. So that makes sure that the IDs will always be unique and it's quicker for insertion, it's quicker for retrieval. Now, next I want to have a name and that's going to be a var car, which is a variable length character field. And 50 characters, that's long enough. Address will be my next one. And that will be a var car as well. So you can choose something a bit longer than 50 there to fit the address in, so 200. And finally, age, and age will be an int. Yeah, that is it. Column ID is an int. It's an identity spec down the bottom to make sure it's not a number. Name, varchar 30, address, varchar 20, age is an int. And hit the save button. I'm going to call that learners. That's singular and the, the database itself is plural learners. Okay, so see my next video on how to insert into that from Java and to retrieve the information from it after it has been inserted.